Jim, can I just get your assessment of today's defeat here at Gateshead? I thought it was very close, Greg. I thought it was a very, very close game. Um, I heard Rob saying in the week, um, two good football teams, two, two of the best football teams uh, in the league playing against each other. And I think, yeah, it, in terms of football, it, it, it very much was that. It was a, it was a cagey, tactical, possession sort of based affair. Um, with, truthfully, Greg, I don't think either team threatening the other team's goal that much. Um, I think uh, the only moment really that you know we were undone by was a a, a moment of direct play uh, straight straight over the top, uh, which we thought we had we were able to cope in that moment. We didn't, um, and then it was the secondary attack from that direct play that was was the difference in what was a very very tight game. It looked like kind of in the second half there might be some moments for us maybe, but we just couldn't quite create the, the chances as you just stated yeah I thought we were slow first half a little, um, in terms of our performance I, I didn't think um, we started at our best really or, or played with um, the verve that we have recently uh, I thought that improved second half definitely uh, with a bit of um, just just genuine reaction to um, expression in the, in the changing room at half time and yeah I think second half we began to become the team um, that pushed the game and I felt like um, our line management got a lot better we dealt with the direct stuff that, that Gates said do play when, when you're able to get pressure on them the, the direct releases that they do play I felt like we were, we were able to cope with them and when we coped with that and kept pressure on the ball at the top of the pitch I felt like um, we grew into the game and then all we needed was some uh, personality and confidence and courage with the ball and ability and I think second half we showed more of that first half we didn't but ultimately, over the 95 minutes, it was very, very tight with not a lot exchanged in terms of like punch power on the other team's goal. Um, but I'm not really surprised at that, given the fact that both teams want the ball, um, the principles that both teams play to. And truthfully, I think it was a much better advert than National League football, but it depends what you like, I suppose. I know you said earlier in the season that you think Gateshead are probably the best team in, in this league, in kind of your opinion. Um, we've seen them going with seven one during the week. Yeah. To kind of match up against them as we did, do you take positives from that? And are they kind of a couple of steps ahead in what like, you envision us to be? Yeah, I think I've said to you earlier in the season, Greg. Um, the badge that we play for, the teams that we play for, the clubs that we represent, um, they're not all necessarily correlating with where they're at as football clubs at the moment. Um, Gateshead Football Club, um, hopefully trying to treat them with the most respect, um, are, are probably a, a smaller football club than Rochdale. Uh, there's much bigger football clubs in this division, but in terms of commitment to a project, Gateshead are three, four years in. I think there's brilliant continuity going on here uh, from Rob, from, from what Mike did. And I'll pay credit to Rob also in that he's also evolved his little niche aspects of this team but very much off the basis of what's been going on here for three four years now um as i said before we're in our infancy in sort of the project and yet i think days like today looking at how close the game was um despite the fact i think we can be better i do take i do take pride from that um still of course want to win every game because i think we can win every game i think we could have won today's game um but yeah, I think they're they're a lot further on in what they've been doing for a long time with a lot of incomings, a lot of outgoings, a lot of time to evolve things, assess them live. Um, and I think, you know, we're we're in the early parts of doing the exact same thing, I think. We saw obviously Keon recover from his injury that he kind of sustained on Saturday. Tyrese back out on the pitch as well today. Obviously, that gives you another option with him. Yep. Um, I think in terms of... Damani Mel is the only other runner, I think, at the moment. Is that is that right? And saying without um, injured. Yeah, Damani, uh, young Isaac's um, nurse and a little injury at the minute. Um, that's pretty much it, I think, in terms of um, squad availability. So that's good. That's good news. Kian was able to um, bounce back from um, his his knock at the weekend. It was much better than we thought. That would be. So that was good news. Tyrese returning. Um, I thought, you know, Tyrese probably hope to return maybe a game earlier but I felt like it was too early for him today I think you know he, he showed some purpose and helped the team when he come on so that's a positive um, but yeah squad um, healthiest has been for a long time Greg uh, which is why even when 
we're not at our full best. I think we're still able to be competitive in, in all games. And ultimately, this was a very competitive game today with a very, very narrow scoreline that we can't get too disheartened about whatsoever. We're just off the back of three wins. Um, losses are part of the process. Um, belief and continued professional standards moving forward under the right culture, representing our fans the right way and working every ounce out of our bodies away from home and at home. The, the, the principles you know, we kind of continue to live by, continue to um, enforce and practice every single day on the training ground. This, this is an everyday thing, Greg.